Hello YouTube, this is the second time I've done a video on the high standard. They're both the same thing, but the first one was when I first started and it's kind of bad. It's actually quite a while ago, so I'm going to try it again. Hopefully this gets some more likes and views. So first and foremost, this is empty. You can see the green mag follower right there. Chamber's empty. So yeah, I'll pull out the mag. Oh, no, I'll do that in a minute. Okay. So nothing has really changed. I never did get different grips because I'm not the only person that shoots this. And the top there, I did get a new scope. The old one. It's right here. Not using it on anything, but oh well. We got the four point or four dot ultra dot. A thirty millimeter version. So let's start off with I guess triggers and stuff. You got a two and a half pound trigger. There is your safety. Up is safe. Down is fire. I'll switch to the side real quick. This is your slide stop. Right there. It's very small, but it's not like you really use it when you're doing target shooting. Besides when you first open walk in. And you're do that again. The mag release goes forward and it's on the bottom of the grip. It's not like most pistols now. These magazines hold ten round each. Uh ten rounds each. About two years ago, I believe, we bought a mag for 50 bucks, I believe was the price, and now they're probably way, way up there, because they hold 10 rounds, and the very teeth, or the very tip of the teeth, if you barely dent them, they don't work on these, so if you're thinking about getting a high standard, make sure your mags work, because they're very easy to screw up. This is, I believe, a four and a half or a five inch barrel. So you can see on the bottom, this bottom line down here, this is just an added weight. There's the screw. That adds just a little of the front weight to keep what little recoiler there is gone and more steady. And then this is this button right here on my thumb. It's very hard to push, but that's how you take the barrel off. Sometimes you have to get a rubber mallet or a brass mallet and cover it and hit it a few times. So that's basically all the accessories besides the scope. As you can see here, we have a rail someone else put it on before we bought it. And yeah. You can tell this is a right-handed pistol because of the uh, thumb groove. We use this for target shooting. But um, that's basically all I have to say. I actually have a few targets. Not that they're good ones. So if I got my last week's, it would be good. As you can see here, I got a 249. But... These are definitely all screw ups, and this is probably my only good target of that week. I believe it's about two and a half that way. This target's a 93 out of 100. And then the final one, I believe, I got excited looking through the spotting scope and pulled all the shots. Went all the way back down to an 86. Basically, the way these works, if you haven't seen these, you get 10 shots for each target. Your highest score you can get is 10. Your highest score is you can get 300. And if you tie with someone else, they go to X's, which is why they mark the X up there. If you tie, whoever has more X's wins. And if those are the same, depending on where you're at, you go to a shootout. I believe. I don't know. I've never had to do that. Like I said, this is only 249. My last week, I went 256 or 7. But I've been improving this whole season, so that's good. So yeah, hopefully this gets some more likes. You can see on the bottom of the mag it says high standard. This is a not a brand new, but I bought it new and then this one's just the old one that came with it. This actually came with two old ones, but one was like I said, the teeth were bent. I didn't pay attention to that. So yeah, hopefully this gets some more likes. Uh tell anybody you know, maybe I'll put this as a video response to someone else but I've never seen these on YouTube that much and as far as I know both my videos of the same pistol are the same exact thing besides the scope and this one should hopefully be better so yeah hit the like and subscribe button if you don't mind and have a good day bye